Good afternoon, my name is Taha Butts and I am a third year kinesiology student. I am excited to present the research that I was involved in during the course of the summer entitled Muscle Stretch Reflexes Assessed in Real and Virtual Environments under Dr. Ryan Peters. Imagine standing at the edge of an elevated height platform such as on a cliff of the high Rocky Mountains. Altered states of fear, anxiety, and postural control will occur similarly whether this threatening situation is real or virtual. However, the potential mechanisms underlying neuromodulation of balance control in response to heightened threat remain unknown. As such, the objective of this study is to examine threat-related changes in somatosensory reflexes as a possible mechanism for fear effects on balance. This study also seeks to further demonstrate the ability to assess muscle stretch reflexes using a novel wearable noisy tendon vibration system. A traditional assessment to test reflex excitability is the Hoffman or H reflex where a transient or short-lived electrical nerve stimuli is delivered to induce a muscle response. An alternative method is noisy tendon vibration where the tendon is vibrated with a noisy signal to induce electromyography responses quantified by its correlation with stimulus. Excitability can thus be assessed continuously throughout movement without inducing discrete perturbations as you would with the H-reflex protocol. Ongoing data is being collected from 15 to 20 participants of whom are healthy young adults with little to no experience with virtual reality environments. Four experimental conditions were looked at, standing with eyes open, standing with eyes closed, virtual reality at low height, which is 0 meters above ground, and virtual reality at elevated height, which was 6 meters above ground. Over here you can see the virtual environments that the participants were placed in at low height and at elevated height. In each experimental condition, we applied noisy tendon vibration to the Achilles tendon as well as H reflex by stimulating the tibial nerve and monitored muscle activity with EMG in the soleus, medial gastrocnemius, and tibialis anterior muscles. Center of pressure was also measured from a force plate in which the subject stood on for the duration of the experimental conditions. Questionnaires and electrodermal activity were also collected to measure perceptions of fear and anxiety. This would ultimately confirm any changes we see in reflex excitability between the threatening and non-threatening conditions. Relative to standing on ground level without virtual reality, early results indicate an initial enhancement of stretch reflex coupling with the eyes closed as well as in the virtual environment. As you can see in this figure, the important thing to note is that in the trials where a threatening situation was involved, whether that be the eyes closed or when placed in virtual reality, muscle stretch reflexes were initiated with a wider bandwidth of frequencies from the vibrating motor compared to the less threatening condition of standing with the eyes open in a real environment. This supports our hypothesis that threats to posture will increase the sensitivity of stretch receptors found in the skeletal muscle, better known as muscle spindles. Individual differences in terms of the effect of the virtual height platform manipulation exist and further data collection is being done to fully evaluate. Ongoing studies will also involve comparing H reflexes along with noisy tendon vibration evoked reflexes, enabling a direct comparison of these responses in the same subjects and conditions. By continuing the efforts of this study and understanding these neuromodulations, we can target older and clinical populations with detriments to balance and postural control, as well as assist in developing novel wearable technologies to improve neuromuscular function and reduce the risk of falling in vulnerable populations. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge BME and WeTrack for funding my research and give a warm thanks to Dr. Ryan Peters for supporting me throughout the project and allowing me to contribute in his laboratory. I'd also like to thank Daniel Hodson and Dr. Osman Zirici for guiding me in the lab and teaching me throughout the summer.